Okay, this is one of the things I really love about Illustrator's 3D engine is the ability to map graphics onto the, the, the 3D shapes that you're making. So the first thing you want to do is uh, just create a shape. It, it doesn't really matter what it is, it can be anything. Um, you can use stripes, dots, check patterns, whatever you like. In this one I've just done a little uh, sort of diagonal stripe pattern here. So to, in order to add this onto the, the shape, we have to first make it a symbol. So if we go up to the symbols menu and drag it in, which I've already done, you just drag that along and it then becomes, you can name it, call it whatever you like. So let's get rid of that for a second and go back to our semicircle. So we've now got the stripe pattern in the symbols menu. So if we go back up to effect, 3D and revolve, and again, preview that again, you've got your sphere as, as you did before. This time, we're going to go into this little button here called Map Art. It's going to bring up a separate dialog box. So, up the top, we've got Symbol, which refers back to the Symbols uh, library we did earlier. Let's click on this one and scale to fit. So, you can see right away you've got this kind of uh, stripey shape wrapping its way around the, uh, the sphere. So, we're going to click on Shade Artwork. And that's going to make it a little bit more part of the sphere. So rather than, if I take this off again, it's very flat, it doesn't look very realistic. If we click on shade artwork, it's, it's much, much better. And again, we can play around with the lighting, move the lighting elsewhere, get a nice feel for it, and take the ambient down a little bit, make it a bit more dramatic. That kind of thing there. So you can do anything you like with this, as I say, spots, stripes, anything. I mean, it really is up to you to experiment and have fun with it.